Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard. Liara, go! Now! Aye, aye. Everybody in! Go, go, go!
70's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack! Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned.
phone. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. It's a med bay. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try... Look out! Keep moving. We need to get you to the shuttles. You were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. 
I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Threat neutral. No shields. Just give the order and I'll hit him with it. That's it. Can't wait. Requesting assistance. I'm falling back. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details, you'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it, what they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind, you need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Hebert. 
Damn it, Lois. This is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Can't target them! Oh, God. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of good... Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological... Shepard! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <clears throat> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. If Miranda's dead, there's nothing we can do. We have to save our own asses right now. The shuttle bay is only a few... Overload the cannon. Shuttle. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then, they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the Elusive Man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive Man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay.
damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burn and internal injury from the explosion. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? We should move on. Let's try something else, then. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Ambassador Udina for the position. Yes, Ambassador Udina is now Counselor Udina. He's done an admirable job of representing humanity's interests. Not sure he's done enough for humanity, but I guess that's politics for you. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room.
elusive men. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory is still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are We're you committed. If, if we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest.
The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. Don't worry. We'll find out what happened to those colonists. Well, at least you're confident. Let's hope it's not misplaced. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. 
and we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Just keep your eyes open. We're looking for anything that tells us who did this. Understood, Commander. With luck, we'll find something that was missed at the other colonies. Then we can find out who's behind it and get some payback. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. at the other colonies. Can't target them! Get over here! Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. seen us.
over here. There. Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. If Vitor survived the attack, he may be able to tell us what happened. That's the hope. We've seen him, but he might not be in the best state to answer questions. He was injured and, uh... Nervous around. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them.
Use overload on them. should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Grabbing cover! Sure thing. got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overlook. We'll take out their shields.
get hot. This should come in handy. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs will protect. Have to hide. Have to hide. No escape. Can't hide forever. Swarms will find you. Monsters find you. No hope. No escape. Vitor? I'm here to protect you. I won't let the monsters get you, I promise. Have to hide. Have to hide. Max will... <laughs> You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. 
You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omnitool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Tichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors, I'll make sure my team's ready.
Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Having an AI in charge of the Normandy's system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions.
Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off-hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24-7. Cheers. Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but... Back then, it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, that doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. 
What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. That's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. this area of the ship. This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory.
I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I handle my own business. I understand. I won't bother you unless it's important. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. The women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines. The creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, 
And we have much larger concerns ahead. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Scillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Access to the AI core is restricted. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook. But I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the Collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Aw, oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. I have more important things to do. Understood. If these provisions just happen to fall into your lap, I'd greatly appreciate you bringing them on back. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. 
How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. What's this area of the ship? Norm access to this room is currently restricted. Watch this area of the ship. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, that weasel Udina backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. 
They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. 